Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastor Farm. A little bit loud out here today. But, uh, we're finishing up the scraps. Isaac is uh, running the mill right now, and then uh, Connor, he'll get, a, he'll get a crack at it here. I've been running it. And, uh, we're just finishing up the last little bit. We're going to be uh, moving the mill to his new home. Big tall slabs here, but uh, some of them are pretty nice slabs. I'm not gonna burn some of these. I mean, look at that. Pretty nice. Isaac's got this down pretty good. You notice how he's moving the blade back and forth to guard as he goes down the wall. using a wood miser it's an lt40 it's got the uh, diesel uh, uac uh, engine on it it's a heck of a machine it's got the uh, hydraulic loading ramps on it uh, well you got big stout young men like that you don't have to use the turner either it's a little faster <laughs> i've been running it for about two hours by myself i was using the turner but Connor and Isaac, they don't know their own strength. Yep. They've learned how to use it. I mean, they're, they're very, very precise. Uh, yesterday, there was a few times they came up and made suggestions when I was running it. And I tell you what, uh, they've got it down. We're cutting oak right now, and I'm going to turn the water up on it just a little bit. Get just a little more water flow. The oak cuts a whole lot different than the cedar does. Look at those, aren't those beautiful? Those are uh, one by sixes. Those are two by eights, two by sixes, oak, two by four, oak. And then this whole wagon over here is solid cedar. You had to buy all that. There's, there's two by eights, two by sixes, two by fours. There's some eight by eights in there, beams. Just a whole menagerie of really beautiful red heartwood. I mean, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I mean, if you had to buy those boards in a lumber yard today with lumber prices, golly, you might want to take a second job in town to pay for it. I cut this in myself a while ago when I was running the mill, and it's got carpenter ants in it. And uh, actually, there's a mouse nest or something in it. Anyway, I'm going to take a chainsaw and cut that off. And I might, I might fill that with epoxy, make one of those river tables or something with that. Kind of cool looking. Then we got another pile of big beams here, uh, just menagerie and stuff. Some of that was uh, stuff that had a little bit of bark on it. We need beans. We're all using beans to put around uh, watering troughs. See, I just didn't let go for his first cut or his third cut. Oh no! 
slope, you have to go just a little bit slower. You don't want to go too slow, that the light will get hot. Better to have a little bit of speed than to go too slow. And you can listen to the engine and that diesel engine. It'll tell you if you're going too fast. ready for the third cut we're gonna flip it and then we'll cut our boards out of there we'll have a squared beam and he's getting the most out of that log <laughs> he didn't cut very much off that's fine so now he's gonna flip it and Connor's gonna flip it golly he's stout Now he's going to lower that down. He's got stuff in can level it. Just by raising little bars up on the hydraulic cylinder. It's darn handy to have. We've got a couple of great big black oak trees we're going to cut. I don't even know if a chainsaw will reach through them, but I can't wait to mill them. Uh, there's going to be a ton of boards come off of them. They died. And uh, this black oak disease is killing a lot of the black oak. Well, that's right behind us right here. Look at this. There's two over here. These were alive about uh, two years ago. Killed them. There's a bug coming through and it just nails them. See that? All those they're good for now is firewood. So I talked with a forester and he said, if you've... here's another one right here in front of us. See that big one over there? It's dead all the way up. And that one didn't get cut soon enough, so those logs are just firewood now. Anyway, if you got a great big black oak, and it looks like it's good for a saw log, you better be patient. It's probably going to die. Don't go out in the industry and just cut every black oak. I don't think you can do that. If you got one that's harvestable, it's got a good log on it. I would cut it before it dies, and then all you stuck with the firewood. I think it looks like he knows what he's doing there. They enjoy running the mill. We, we milled all day yesterday, and uh, I let everybody run the mill. It's fun. I mean, it's something that we do when we have time, uh, extra time on our hands. And I want to get this thing moved and put in this shed before winter gets here. We built a new shed. I had all these logs over here, and I didn't want to move it, so I got the logs milled up. Okay, here you go. Well, I'm just going to measure, see what we get out of this thing. Now we got the square. Okay, you got six, uh, six and a half. What's the other direction? Ooh, perfect. Okay, flip it over, we'll get two by sixes. So it's five, a little over five and a half, about five and five eighths. But he's going to get some two by sixes. That's what's so cool about this mill, folks. Watch this. That mill, once he gets it leveled, and I'm going to help him. Okay, once he gets that blade up there and it reads the table exactly where it's at, that mill can uh, figure out exactly how many 2x6s we're going to get. Check this out. So get a little closer, get a little closer. Right there. Now, get down low and get that blade exactly even. Exactly even. With even the, with the top of that. Oh, yep. Oh, you did, man. You did it right. How'd you do that? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, now we're gonna go over here, and you're gonna hit pattern. Just click on pattern. There you are. So we're gonna cut inch and a half wide by uh, two by sixes. Okay. Don't hit anything else. All you gotta do is speed it up, turn on the blade, there you go, and then hit, bring that down really easy, all the way. Okay, now what it's going to do is going to take a, take a yep. Yep. So it's just going to take about a three-eighths of an inch off. It already calculated out how many two by sixes are in there. When I first bought the mill, I'm like, that silly thing, it didn't go down an inch and a half, but it does. It's going to leave an inch and a half, two by six, as the last board on that table down there. 
you swear it's gonna saw your steel off, but it doesn't. On that last cut, I mean, it just skims right across there. Okay, there's our, so everything left now is lumber. There we go. That is kind of a little piece of junk anyway. Here's your first two by six. There you go. Right. Keep going. See what it did? It found that cut. It indexed it down another inch and a half. Connor, if you'll stick that upside down just like that, every one of them, you'll stack it just like it came off that log. Okay. Yep. That way it stacks better and it's not likely to work. Yeah. Well, it won't be dried in the building. There's no rain or no moisture in them. There's a second one coming off. Oh, that's a pretty board. Moving that uh, blade guy back and forth. That is one strong board right there. That's what I built my uh, three-story log cabin out of. When I was uh, 18 years old, I was in high school, I started it, and I ended up building a three-story log cabin. It was all built out of oak. Still there today. That was in 1978. Okay, go down one more. Now you need to loosen your clamp, Isaac. There you go. Okay, now see what's happened? You're, you're too close to it. Yep, there you go. Bring it on. You gotta bring it on back. Don't, don't touch the height. There you go. Come on back. Perfect. Now it'll release. This thing's got a safety on that clamp up there. If your cutting blade is too close to the log, you can't release the clamp. Good. You're good. You're gonna miss it fine. So that blade is gonna come flying down through there. It's got a miss. That's the final cut right there. So there's two two by sixes left. When you talk about dimensional lumber, there was somebody. I don't know. We had a video on this one. Somebody by that. that bill won't cut wood. Dimensional lumber. I'm like, what are you talking about? Cut anything you want to cut. It's better than what you buy in the lumber yard. That got a lot cheaper. And it's a whole lot stronger. And my boys are getting a really good, these young men are getting a really good education on turning logs into valuable lumber. You can't put a price on that. Oh, that's a pretty big man. Tell you what, when you handle one of those two by sixes, uh, one thing about oak, when you're building a house with it, which I did, three stories, the first story was walls and the second two were studs, two by six walls, which is exactly what that is. You gotta keep your wood stacked tight, the tarp on it, and don't let it get too feared or you'll never get a nail in it. Well, we got several more here to cut. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I just wanted to show you all the mill at work. I had a lot of people asking about it. And it's gonna get a new home today. We're gonna be moving it. And uh, we're gonna be taking it out of here. We pretty much get all these logs cut. And it's gonna be, Con I'm gonna let Connor handle those two big dudes right there. Everyone have a good one. And uh, we'll see you all down the road next time. And have a great day.